Hello everyone and welcome to Hack Informer HD. Now recently I released a tutorial showing you how to install Arc. Now if you don't know what Arc is, it's pretty much an application that allows you to run any PSP game on your Vita. The one complaint I kept getting was not only how to transfer the PSP game on your Vita, but also how to get it to run. So this is why I am here today, I'm going to show you how to run PSP games on your Vita. Alright, so transferring over a PSP game or ISO to your Vita is very straightforward. If you followed my previous ARC tutorial, you should have a ARC save file located in your P save, which can be found using your QCMA application slash backups file path. All we're going to do is transfer our PSP ISO into that folder. I'll be using Blood Bowl here because it's a relatively small game which really helps when it comes to transfer time. Now we can't transfer it just yet as in the naming scheme for the ISO is invalid. There are two rules when it comes to transferring a PSP ISO. First of all, all characters must be capital including the extension and the actual name of your PSP ISO can only be 8 characters long at max. In this case, I do not have the file extension showing for my PSP game. This is because I have the hide extensions for known file types enabled. To disable it is very simple. All you do is search up folder options in your start menu, select it, and go ahead and disable hide extensions of known file types. From there, we can go ahead and rename the extension to capital ISO, and then go ahead and transfer this over to our Vita. Alright, so next step, you're going to want to plug in your Vita into your computer or use Wi-Fi transfer like I'm doing here. From there, everything else is pretty simple. Just transfer over your ARC save data, which can simply be found in PSP slash other save data. Alright, so after we're done installing the, not installing, sorry, transferring the ARC save data, we're going to go ahead and head over to our actual ARC. All from there, all we gotta do is find our PSP game, which should have ISO as its extension, and just press the start button to well start it up. Now, I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button, and to stay up to date with the Vita hacking news in general from hackinformer.com, hit the subscribe button. I'll be seeing you guys later. Just the Rennie, signing out.